and welcome to another episode of City Building Saturdays. We are here on episode number 104 of this series. I do appreciate everybody who has come out. I hope your guys' time zone, whatever your weekend time zone is, is doing wunderbar. So, uh, let me go ahead here, get this uh, stuff here over here on Discord uh, done. Discord Landia. We are, of course, here on part four of our playthrough of Caesar 3, that classic city building. That was my, it was my inaugural episode, inaugural series. That, 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 that. It was my inaugural game in the city building series by Sierra Studios and Impression Studios. So, um,. So yeah, this this game has um, has a, a an effector of nostalgia. I'm not sure if I've pointed that out or not, but um, yeah, it it's got some nostalgia for me. So um, let me go ahead here and uh, get um, stuff wrapped up finally. <laughs> So, anywho, um, sorry for the slight delay in start. Uh, I got, I was actually trying to do some, uh, additional money grinding, trying to get some more money, and, uh, I kind of got distracted. Then I looked at my wa tree watch, and said, uh-oh, uh, I should be alive! Tree, don't be a dum-dum! But yeah, there are those times where, you know, you're easily distracted. Trying to do something, and boom! Next thing you know, you've got to... Uh, um, stuff you should be doing, so uh, let's see here. Alright, just a second. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, let me go ahead and get out of Discord Landia. Let me go ahead and make sure everything else is nice and tidy. Yes, it is. Huzzah. Okay, let me go ahead here. I'm going to turn on the game audio. Turn on main scene. Boom, boom. There we go. Huzzah. Alright, so... um. I'm going to go ahead here and quickly finish up with uh, this invasion. Alright. So yeah, basically I've just been uh, as however many minutes it's been, I've I've, uh, about, like, half hour or so, actually. Something like that. Uh, been running the game. We're, like, 6,600, uh, denarii, and we're now up to, uh, a little bit under double that, but that's okay. Alright, so, um, let's go ahead and save this as Tingus 9. It's been quite some time uh, since I last saved, so let's go do that. All right, so we need theaters. Shouldn't be too, too hard to set up some theaters. So I think we're also probably going to need some academies, so let's go and set up a few academies. Up oh, there we go. General, your good work at Tinges frees my legions from duty in the West and lets me pursue other ambitions. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead here and click on Leticia. Um, as I said, this is um, my fave. This is um, if I were to rank my top three favorite scenarios. They would have to be Lutetia, um, Mediolanum, and um, Lindum. Those would have to be 
my top three favorite scenarios in this game. And we are about to play the absolute favorite of them all. <laughs> all right. So enough jib jabbing. Uh, let's go ahead here and we're going to get started on the scenario. As part of my plan to consolidate the Western provinces, I command that a new capital be built deep in the heart of wildest Gaul. Caesar Augustus once predicted that the Gauls would become model Roman citizens. It is time that the great Augustus's vision was realized. In the midst of this savage land, you are to build Lutetia into a major Roman city unsurpassed in culture, prosperity, and peace. I grant you a huge, rich province in which to accomplish this. The peace requirement might cause you some difficulty. Far from verging on Roman citizenship, many Gallic tribes remain mired in the most primitive barbarism. They will not peacefully watch Rome civilize their ancestral lands. You have a large city to raise to high standards and a hostile land in which to do it. All right, so we have got a population of 10K, 10,000 people. Uh, let's see, peace and prosperity ratings each of 50. Favor of 40 and culture of 45. So, yes, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but uh, one that I am more than eager to overcome. So, let's go ahead. We're going to quickly. Lutetia. All right. So, um, first thing we need to do is we need to entrap all the rogue wolves so that they don't go about wandering about the province so we will dispatch in due time we are going to have to dispatch some legions to take care of these bad bad boys let's see there should be there they are I was like, I remember that it was somewhere in this area that we have uh, had another wolf pack. All right, let's go ahead here. Gift our city uh, a, an insane amount of money. Let's go ahead and put the game on super slow mode. And of course, this wolf pack right here is not going to be too much trouble. Okie dokie, so um, in this particular scenario, there are two main attack points. This is one of them, right in, right in here. The other being um, right down here. These are the two main attack points. With the one down here being the most uh, notorious in terms of... Um, stuff so what i can do i'm just gonna for future reference what i can do or essentially what i am gonna do is i if i leave this one block wide one square wide worth of tr uh, trees up they can't walk past that so what this will allow, enable me to do and as we get the city further developed is we can put up a, a defensive wall right here with some towers have, have, you know, the ballista rain down uh, their ammunition on the troops, on the enemy forces. And in this area, we're going to have uh, a huge defensive wall. So, uh, let's see. Let's see, what are my raw materials? All right, clay pit, iron mine, timber yard. Definitely going to have to have um, some fun with that. So let's first do some preliminary prep work. Let's clear out this area here. So that uh, we can have the... Uh, um, just the road here. Trim back the uh, virtual botanical brethren right here. And then trim this road, this uh, part of the road back. 
So as that uh, we have a standardized road. To momentarily, let's see here. All right, we can do that as our road. All right, so now in here, what we're going to be doing is doo -doo 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 -doo, going to be installing our, um, let's see here, it's just easier if I do it like this, put in an aqueduct there. Now, normally, traditionally, I actually, uh, that's probably a good idea, actually. See, if I do it like this, that way I could use, um, employ, basically use this area as some of our uh, stuff for, um, like, bat, emergency baths. So, that is probably a good idea if we do it like that quickly unpause so we can finish getting rid of that uh, aqueduct, I mean that reservoir. <laughs> Alright, swing map. Bring a large statue right there. One, two, three, four. Now this particular scenario, I just love it when I can get a butt of palaces and the reason is is that palaces of course generate huge 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 amounts of wealth two three in terms of tax revenue so let's go ahead and see here That's why we're in pause mode, so not, not the end of the world, not the end of the world. All right, so see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start off with eight for now. Yes, I know they are too far from a road. Telling me the incredibly obvious game. All right. So, anywho, let's go ahead here and see. Uh, all right. Clear out some of this stuff. Let's see here. I want to see how wide this is. So this is 128. So 128. Does that mean it'll be what? 132? Yeah, 132 is what we need. So yes, in this case, I am being very precise. Now, it looks like we won't be able to get quite that distance, but. Let's see, I'm just trying to plan it. That's the thing about Tree, he always tries to have a plan. All right, there we go. That should be good. Because I want to maximize the amount of good housing I can squeeze in. That is to say palaces. All right. All right, so now Get rid of those. 
see here. Put in that. Large statue right there. Let's see, leave a gap for a fountain. And then do that. One of the good things about aqueducts is that you can make them zig and zag as needed, like roads, to do the uh, to do the stuff you need them to do. Oh, aqueduct. I was just changing uh, my POV here, so that's uh, I can do that. All right. Let's see here. Senate, Let's see. I'm just trying to determine the middle here. Let's see. I'm 28. Let's go with 40. Forty, twelve, twelve, one, two. That should be that. So let's see. Forty-four. I think we're definitely looks like we're a little off center here. So one, four, eight. 12, 16, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Looks like we're going to have to have a slightly odd off number. So again, with this being a northern province, we don't have to worry quite so much about um, Senate. Yep, there we go. Those guys are the ones that are off. So let's see here. 36. 37. 56. 56, so uh, yeah, well, we're just going to have to deal with one being slightly off, but that is okay. I'm willing to live with it. Let's go ahead and reinitialize that bad boy. Come on, come in. Send it. Thank you. There's the send it. Send it. Send it, send it, send it. All right, so. Uh, let's see. Now, I want to check something. Raw materials. Let's see who, if anyone. Let's see, Legidunum. Mediolanum. Okay, Mediolanum sells, um, sells marble. That, that's what I was looking for. It's like, does who, if anyone, sells marble? It's like, I don't think we can produce. And I was like, yeah, we can't produce it here. So, um, anywho. Engineer's post. Let's go ahead here and uh... all right. So for the moment, we're just going to go ahead and construct the heck out of some uh, small temples. That way, uh, we can um, make sure that we get uh, the stuff we need to have happen happen. All right, let's all go ahead and initialize roadblocks there and there. All 
All right. If I don't get some food soon, I'm leaving this city. Well, that's uh, that's soon gonna be fixed, there, dude. So let's go ahead and speaking of food, let's go ahead and get some food going. All right. Let's go ahead here. We'll carefully trim this stuff back, except for right there. Want to keep these walls contained, so. Granary. Come on, move out of the way, silly immigrants. There we go. I just need some overlay to see where in the bloody blazes I am. Let's go and trim that bad boy back. We'll see wheat. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'm going to go ahead and move this guy. Just my time. Just my time. This is a okay, guys. In this case, uh, food production out smarts food storage if i don't get some food soon i'm leaving this city all right so now now what we can do Age. Do, 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 do. We need to clear out this area here. All right, guys, I had to momentarily mute myself so I didn't blow people's ears out with the tree sneeze. So uh, let's go ahead here. Um. This planet. Put in this right here. So I'll have a reference for the future of where I want stuff to be for housing, because I do want some housing there. All right, let's see, Fort. Yes, I know. And there we go. We have got our companies up, our legionnaire, our legions up and running. Now what we're going to do is, let's see here, I'm going to, one, two, three, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and set up a group, up. Oh, oi dude, I accidentally got rid of one road that I didn't mean to get rid of, there's that, there's that, sort of have a nice little granary thing right here let's put up another one just so we have that additional storage capability let's put up an engineer's post to make sure these guys don't go crashy crash and then we're gonna need barracks left right and center three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, let's go with 12. Caesar can't complain if he, if we have the money. All right, of course, we're gonna need to install an academy. We'll put the academy right there. And then a warehouse for weapons. 
Orders, accept none, accept weapons. Make sure to have you get. And then engineer's post. We'll put one right here. And then we'll go ahead and in uh, time, we are going to deploy our four auxiliary uh, legions uh, to where we need to have them to be. Right here, up over here, uh, wherever it is down here, there they are, and then of course over here. Basically, we're going to, because if we have any of these wolves survive, any of the wolf members of the wolf pack survive, the wolves will respawn. And we don't need, uh, um, wolves uh eating up our people so let's see governance religion engineering and water services are our first three priorities so this is one of those sorts of scenarios that i just wish i could um have um Um, what's it? Um, Marvel. There we go. Actually, wait a minute. Can I move this guy over one? I think I can. Yeah, we're going to move this guy over one. That way we might be able to uh, fix stuff, so... Put in some media. Ah, not there, dum dum. <laughs> dum dum. All right. That is better. Because this allows me to put in a large statue here. And then. We're going to have to move this statue. That's okay. These houses pay so little. All right. It hardly seems now, worth my time. while I'm thinking about it, we need to go ahead here and set up our warehouses special orders except nothing except marble and then we go ahead and set that marble to import we're gonna need all the marble we can because i i want i want large temples yes they help with the culture but the inevitable b-u-t-t -T, if we are careful with how we play our culture we can um Maximize our uh, timeline on this particular scenario. Now let's go ahead here. Let's see here. Let me swing the map around so I can see this uh, better. we might be able to squeeze in actually let's be smart oh this is a good idea this here is a good idea a uh, large statue just gave myself an idea dudes and dudettes we can squeeze in Another um, bit of housing right there. So as that, um, we can have another thingamabob. How we doing here on employment? All right, so let's go ahead here. 
같은데요. 그럼 we'll again mathematically approach the uh, stuff here. Can't do it quite like that, so that sucks. We'll figure. We'll worry about this more as time goes on. Don't worry. Do not worry. Our important need run. All right, how are we doing here? So we've got some marble. How much do they sell per annum? Fifteen per annum. Let's see here. We'll start over here first. A doctor right there. A barber right here. I'm gonna go ahead and for the moment, uh, not you, so, doctor, thank you. Set up a temporary doctor and barber right there and there. I just realized that I need to put in a roadblock right there. That way, uh, you guys don't go wandering where they're not supposed to be wandering. 500 citizens, huzzah. How we doing on pop? I mean, uh, employment. Let's go ahead and make sure we get uh, some uh, health and education right there. All right. Let's see, what also does Mediolanum buy? They also buy weapons and furniture. Okay. Those will be uh, some... Uh, Good things to sell so uh, let's go ahead here oh wait let's first worry about stuff all right let me go ahead and set up some markets special orders this guy is not going to accept food it's only going to do finished goods this guy is going to do only food, not finished goods. This pair is going to do a similar sort of thing. One's only going to do food. The other is going to only do goods. Greetings. This place really needs many more workers. I'm gonna do here. Yeah, that'll work. See, this is something I couldn't do in the original C3 as program these guys. Now, in Pharaoh, you could program bazaars. <laughs> My God. All right, let's see here. What? Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, is it a? Is it a raid? Is that you, Dragon Quan? Oh my God! Up, up. We have a raid, dudes and dudettes. Incoming up. As soon as I can do uh, stuff, and uh, here we go. There we go. Welcome, Raiders! Thank you for the raid! Quinn and Drev and everybody else coming with them. Uh, let me go ahead and get this in the link. For those of you coming in on that raid, I am Osage Orange. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch. And we are currently playing... Yes, 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 but it's my... 
it, instead of having to worry about typing everything out myself, I just have the Bob do the three things right there, Jeff, so it saves me all the trouble. I can, I can, uh, I can only do so much. So yeah, we are, uh, currently in, uh, one of my favorite games ever of all time, Caesar 3. We are currently building, uh, yes, indeed, classic, classic Caesar 3. And let's go ahead here. Um, how do I want to do this? So, oh, I can do it like this. Department of Dirt. So, yeah. And this technically is a mod uh, for C3, what we're currently playing. Let me go ahead here and just second. Let me get this done. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, well, I played Caesar 3. Uh, Caesar 3 was my first um, um, city building set. was my first city builder game. Let me see here. Let me pull up Discord. So as that um, I can give you guys the correct information. Because the mod I'm using is called... Augustus. So uh, let me go ahead and get this up here. Um, the channel that I was well, that kind of exposed me to this, uh, guys, was Gamer Zach. Um, he is famous primarily for his city building series. Initially with Caesar 3, but he's done the other city building games. And um, like I said, the mod is called Augustus. So let me go ahead and copy that into chat for you guys. Uh, basically, you can uh, get Caesar 3 through either good old games or Steam. It will run, but there are sometimes a few glitches here and there. But the uh, Augustus mod, along with the Julius mod, there are two mods. There's Julius, which just adds a few quality of life uh, things, usually trying to get it bumped up to widescreen mode. Instead of having, you know, the traditional, you know, 10... Uh, 10 whatever, 1020 by 480, 1024 by 768. Instead of having, you know, at that default old small res. But with Augustus, there is also um, a number of features. <laughs> Silly Quinn. And there's, um, there's gamers, uh, Zach's um, um, YouTube channel before I forget. Uh, and then let's see, we need to get. I did not get a second one up to Venus. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, basically, you know, this uh, Augustus really brings up uh, a number of uh, improvements. You can, for example, program markets uh, to accept only certain types of goods. And in this case, I am programming a pair of markets, one to take care of food, one to take care of go consumable goods, i.e. pottery. So is that, yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys go to bed, go to bed. Sleep is important. Uh, don't, don't barbarian motor works there, Caesar. All right, how we doing? Uh, let's see, legions are all, should we almost be up to full strength? I <laughs> love how the surplus guys run back to the fort. Uh, thank you for the raid there, Quinn. You guys go get your rest. Come on, guys, get all figured out. See you guys later. Get your sleeps. Come 
Come on, horse. Ease. <laughs> they can't figure themselves out. Jeez Louise. I'm going to have to literally take out There we go. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get these wolf problems taken care of. Actually, let's reroute the hydras down over to here. And then we'll take the, whatever these guys are, the, the lions. This should uh, hopefully take care of all the wolves. Oh, that's not good. All right. Let's go ahead and order all our... Tr oh, wait, how much? Holy freaking hedge apples! We have got a metric button of uh, unemployment. Well, fortunately... We need to uh, go ahead here and get food up and running. We've got a metric button of un unemployment. So let's see. This is another one of those improvements. At Let's see, one, two, three, five. Don't worry, guys. We'll get you your employment. Go ahead here. We'll take up, build up some more wheat. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So hopefully this should help us out with uh, let's see roadblocks there and here. Bada bing, bada boom. That should help us out with the. Oh, that that sucked up a bunch of unemployment. Huzzah! Now where was this crash? Up oh, there it is. Crash. I was about to say crash, collapse. Almost same difference. And now we got food flowing into our granaries. Let's go ahead and program these guys to get theirs. Don't worry, Caesar. We'll make good do. Whatever. All right, how we doing? All right, we do need some more employment, so uh, so we can officially, officially, commence uh, some um, some good stuff. So let's go ahead, roadblock there.
see. Roblox. One, two, three. Huzzah. These houses pay so little tax, it hardly seems worth my time. All right. Now that we got your mat going, let's go ahead here and act a colony. This will help get some uh, additional uh, population into the city because we do need to start up our stuff. All right. So now what we can do is a little trick like this. Single row of trees. Let's see, and also, what does uh, they also buy iron and um, pottery? Okay, we will need a lot in the. Obviously, we're going to need a lot in the pottery to um, iron stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually. Do this. There we go. Got a lot of timber production up and running, along with a corresponding huge amount of uh, stuff for our, um, let's see, stuff. So we'll, we'll keep this over here as a strategic emergency reserve. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to set up, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should suffice for our, um, our weapons and uh, iron needs. So what we'll do, workshop, weapons. Keep a reserve going here for iron. Let's clear out this area here so as that we can start to uh, uh, install clay pits. That should be, yeah, that's. That'll be more than enough. We're especially going to need clay. All right. Ah, that's right. Duh. What we can do, though, is uh, do a little something like this. All right, so for the moment, well, hey, don't gripe, Caesar. All right, let's go ahead, shut down what we don't need to have on at the moment. We're going to go ahead and shut down furniture, pottery, and their associated uh, raw material extraction uh, facilities.
an engineer's post. Thank you. Put one here too. Let's see. Don't need uh, market ladies going to that bad boy. Septon. Accept weapons. Pottery. Furniture. There we go. There we go. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, oh, geez, Louise. Entertainment. Let's see, food production takes the greater priority. Let's go ahead here, put up some schools. Let's see, we are short. Normally, I would have uh, right up in here, I would have uh, some housing to help support stuff. So, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put in low bridges, actually. The reason we're going to go ahead and do this is simply because... I want to have... I need more people. I'm going to need the people. Enemies at the door. Step. Griping. Amp. Caesar. Do it like this to um, uh, help further uh, increase our food supply. I mean, population. Da -da -da -da. So that we can increase our uh, food supply and all that jazz. And what in the bloody tarnation are you guys doing that for? Dum dums! This city would be a lot better if there were enough workers. I kind of forgot about that. Well, we can get rid of that guy, and since uh, he's a thing, not being quite useful. This place really needs. The market is out of food, so this I'm off to collect more supplies. <coughs> Excuse me, but I felt good. Yeah, I do care about you. Then why are you protesting there, dude? Yep, I kind of forgot about that now, didn't I? <laughs> Twee is dum dum in this case. I've always, uh, as you guys can see, I've always had this, for years, I've always had this build big or go home mentality. All right, let's go ahead here. We're going to start uh, exporting weapons. All right, I want to see what our tax income is like. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to go put up a couple of spare 
15 vegetables. Well, so we're gonna go and slide this bad boy right there. Special orders, except nothing but veggies. And you are forbidden from accessing anybody. Yep. We got some garlic warriors just wanting to cause trouble. Oh, did I? Did I? Yes, I did. Okay. Let's get our troops moving right quick. Let's get some of this virtual forest here. Sorry, virtual botanical brethren. But you're in the way. There we go. There we go. Yes, indeedy. Yeah. No beard, Steve the Capitulator. We're getting there, we're getting there. Yes, I know they don't have access to a bathhouse. So, oh, wait a minute, I'm exporting what's it? Iron. Not. Why aren't I? Iron set to export. We need to sell all the iron we could possibly get. Actually, probably ought to, the way the guys that they're moving over like that. I'm just going to set him up right over here. Special orders, except nothing, except not oil. Except only a. Let's see, with iron exports and uh, weapons exports, we'll be able to get a fair. Yep. I always like to try to get, whenever possible, the farthest uh, legions moving first so that they can arrive more or less at the same time as the closest guys. Two Toad Pete, Gaulish Warrior, Charles the Mysterious. True, I just did lose my cavalry legion, but I'm not going to complain too, too much. There's no space for this lot anywhere in the city. How are we doing on unemployment? Well, we need to get that up a little bit more, shall we? Let's uh, improve this housing. Let's 
Let's go and also set up school. Alright. We will need to go ahead here and boot up our uh, pottery. Oh, wait, that's still running. Tree is dum dum. Forgot to turn off pottery. Well, that's okay. Alright, accept pottery. Now, thing we're going to do, or a thing we're going to do, I should say. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to put the marble here. Let's go ahead and, for the moment, we're going to see some marble imports. That way we can keep that expenditure under control. And this guy can start to... Uh, start emptying warehouse. Make sure this guy, yep, he's set to get marble. Three K people, huzzah! All right. Now what we're gonna? One thing we are going to start to do. Probably gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to move that 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 guy right there uh, here in a bit. That forum special orders except get pottery. See by not having the uh, merchants steal from that particular warehouse, we can we can maximize our own. Um, um, stuff. Well, let's go ahead here with the need to save uh, a Roman city. We'll save uh, Lutetia 1. One in Latin, of course. Let's see here. We'll see how big is the force. We won't send all three. We'll send uh, two. September, what we need to do. So these guys, they now need bathhouses. So let's go ahead and set up a pair of bathhouses. On both sides. Actually, I think I'm going to move this guy here. Over a block, square, however you want to call it. So as that, we can set up an amphitheater right here, and we'll set up another one right there. And then, there's that. Huzzah. Let's go ahead and set up a uh, gladiator school. That way, I was like, what? what's the thing I'm looking for? Oh, geez, I just realized... We are done messed up. We are def very much done messed up. Let's undult stuff, shall we? I realized.
that we do not have the right amount of room uh, to um, have our guys uh, be three. So we need, we need to fix that. Shouldn't take too, too much trouble. Fix some of this stuff here. Idiot infrastructure. Double idiot infrastructure. All right, what we can do. Put in an engineer's post there. And a new box. Wait, dum dum. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on. Enemies at the door. There we go. Fixed it. All right, let's go ahead here. String in the road there. Uh, gladiator school. Finally build one after realizing, hey, tree, you done goofed. Yay, huzzah. There we go. We're starting to get some stuff in. Or did I? Needs to be a school down here. Let's go ahead and put in some uh, plazas there to raise the desirability. Salutations! Life here is all right, isn't it? This city seems to be running smoothly. Let's see. Yeah, well, I understand that. Let's go ahead and put in. All right, let's see. We're going to go ahead and turn on timber and furniture. We're going to have to move this guy right there from right here to right there, so that's not much of a problem. Actually, I'm gonna have him getting and remember we need to program these not to accept uh, merchant access. I only want them to be accessible to the market ladies, so special orders, getting goods, special orders, don't accept, start emptying. I think we could cut down some of our weapons production. That helps save a few employees. And let's go over here to our pottery. There we go. We can, of course, now export those goods. All right.
There we go. That's a lot better. Yep, I don't want on Stinter. Aside from the complete destruction of uh, the, um, what's it, uh, Legion Cavalry, we have lost no guys. No guys. See, only 16, uh, 16 guys died. Everybody else stood their ground. Alright, so with that, let's go ahead here, we can construct, uh, where in the bloody blood, there it is, Triumphal Arch. I'm going to build Triumphal Arch right here next to the uh, Senate. So as that, uh, it um, looks more marvelous. He mm. does. All right, let's see here. We have to city the remainder. How much did I? Holy hedge apples! Over twelve hundred denarii in um. What's it? Tribute? Holy freaking hedge apples! All right, let's go over here. It says we're not all our tax stuff is uh, up to date, so let's go ahead here. Put up a little more coverage like that. Place badly needs more workers. Yeah, no shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to say the uh, the S word there. Sorry, I normally am a lot better at governing my tongue than that. How we're we doing on troops? Uh, go over here and look. Now yeah, we're good. We're good, so we are going to dump military. See, in this way, we're not having to have so many uh, people in the city is, well, detrimental. Um... Oh, wait, is this guy... There we go. Yeah, they come. Now we can really start to get uh, some good stuff. So let's go ahead and get these guys plaza up. Let's go ahead and put in some statues, I. Eh? Yeah, well, at least we got workers, so don't complain too, too badly there, dude. There's no space for this lot anywhere in the city.
All right. We really do need to start to think about uh, several things here. Let's go ahead and clear out all this w unnecessary w virtual woodland. Sorry, my virtual botanical brethren. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry, but you gotta go bye-bye. Yes, you would help in the city's defense, but, um... Um, I want walls, dudes. All right. Let's see here. Swing the map. Put up a road right there. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Let's see here. Um, a transit road right here, so I know where I'm going. Now, the multi dollar question we got to ask is how good is the uh, how good is my memory in this regard? Perfect! Huzzah! Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah! Alright. So now what we can do is put in about 10 a housing for this area. Because we are going to need um Well, housing. And we'll go ahead here and put in an aqueduct right here. We'll maintain a separate uh, water circuit for this area. So is that we uh, don't have too, too much trouble maintaining water for this area. Of course, we're going to have to fix this. Department of Duh. That way, we can make sure we maximize residential capabilities. Let's see, put up a roadblock here. Put up a granary there. Except this guy, we need to program him not to accept meat.
Yep. Let's see, let's we do quickly do the uh, housing there. Finish getting our military units here in order. Oh, no. Go ahead and uh, get our bad, bad boys sent back home. All right, let's go ahead and finish setting up a, our defensive wall here. This is actually going to be the first of several layers. You heard me right, first of several defensive wall layers. See how we're doing on populate. Oh, oh, wunderbar! We are getting there. Let's so, see. Go ahead here, put up gatehouse defenses. Huzzah! There we go. Mm. Sorry there, I had to stretch. All right, large statues. Let's get uh, these guys' desirability up because they're gonna need it. Let's go ahead, since we've got, uh, gonna soon have a fair amount of people that we're gonna have to employ, we already We've got some of that already. Let's go ahead here. Let's put up our uh, towers. Now, what I could show you guys probably at some point in our playthrough of this particular scenario is show you guys what it's like to have the baddies br you know, shut up Caesar I'm trying to explain what I'm doing here and you're interrupting saying hey you're out of money why do I have to lend you more money um anywho I want to show you guys the uh what we need so uh, just stand here and stretch uh, so yeah Eventually, we are going to be getting a massive setup of wall. Oh, jeez. That really does hurt. All right. So, let's see here. Um, let's start getting taxes collected, eh? Go ahead and set up an engineer's post. How oh, the gods? They are not too happy. We can fix that. Let's go ahead uh, set some more temples up. Well, 
temple, all Saris. Go ahead and put a engineer's post right here with a forum. Huzzah! There we go. Yes, indeedy. Make sure we put up a roadblock right here, too. Oh, we need to put up a forum somewhere over here, too. So we'll put, we'll put it right here. Alright, let's go ahead and quickly save the game again. Lutetia 2. Average force, eh? Well, thank goodness for us, we have an exceptional army. Let's go ahead, we'll send four of our legionary legions to uh, go kick the baddies in their butts. Kick the baddies in their butts. Kick the baddies in their butts. They'll go running away if they weren't kicked in their butts. All right. We will, we do need more people to have water, of course. So let's go ahead here. Gosh darn it. I'm now thinking of um, this um, episode of Ruby Chibi where Nora sings, We're going on a hike. We're going on a hike. Today's the day, hip hip hooray, we're going on a hike. Woo! And then uh, the reason that they're having so much trouble leaving uh, Beacon is because of um, um, Pyrrha's magnetic ability. So literally her magnetism is um, causing uh, them not to leave school. Five K people, huzzah! Let's go ahead and spread some desirability to these guys. Let's see. Oh, wait. Do we have enough tax coverage over them? Enemies at the door. Let's see, well, the better housing, they'll be able to, of course, collect up, um, 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 yep, they'll pay more taxes a lot more quickly, so, let's see here, oh, there we go, yes, wunderbar, just what I wanted to see, all right, so let's go over here. I'm going to summon up a warehouse right here. Block off access to the trade market, ladies. We're going to have it accept all it. Workshop, oil. This will help uh, the... Um, the what's it... Um, Remove some of our unemployment. There we go. Let's make sure we go over here to our uh, um, our guy here, our trade uh, advisor, and make sure we set up our imports. So come on, there we go. I've been thrown out of my home. <laughs> That's a funny name. All right, let's go ahead here and um, line house. Actually, I just gave myself an idea. <laughs> what I need to do, a little something like this. Ah, I don't want two line houses there. I'm gonna put up an engineer's post here. Gladiator school and an actor colony. 
basically we turn these guys into destination walkers and then Well, in theory, we should be able to have just the one Colosseum there, and both will walk toward it. Now, technically... And... Um, this is from what I know of actual history. Um, is that um, they wouldn't actually kill the gladiators. The gladiators would not be actually killed. Yep. I'll explain why here in a bit. We first need to take care of this battle. Oh, did I? I must have sent off one of my what's-its. My, uh, what's it? My, um, my guys. I know what I'm talking about. We should hopefully have enough in our defense system to be able to, uh, Excuse me. Um, hold the end. Yep. Huzzah. Yep. We had enough to be able to defeat the enemy and... Still send out a fair amount of numbers to um, have uh, guys be good. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, with Roman gladiators, they actually, you know, unless it was, and this is based on my impression and all that, unless it was absolutely necessary, they actually wouldn't kill... Um, um, the gladiators because it takes it took time and effort to be able to train up even a basic gladiator to do what was needed and um, and um, so actually having a gladiator get killed in the arena was essentially loss of profit Loss of financial status. There's a lot of unemployment here. I see where's a. Uh... There's so much unemployment here. I wish we could practice on some of them. Well, let's see. I might be able to fix some of that. Let's see. Let's go ahead here. We'll build our other triumphal arch. Sort of make a little bit of a Senate sandwich. <laughs> All right. Another reason we're trying to get our unemployment up is because uh, stuff. All right. We're going to go ahead here. Warehouse. We're gonna set up another. Uh, let's see, don't accept access to the market, ladies. Uh, special orders. Accept nothing except vines. And put up a roadblock there. Put up another engineer's post here. Let's clear this forest here out of the way. And then workshop one. Now in this case, this guy. Um, 
he is not going to have access to any of them because we can import one as our second one for stuff. And um, what I don't want to have happen is um, one get thrown away. Why do we have two things getting... Um, Let's see, start. Why do we have two guys doing the same thing? Don't know why. There we go. That's better. Yeah, not meat. Then. We're still doing good, so uh, overall. So let's go ahead here, and um, I'm gonna put it, start putting up our statues. Our oh great, we've had the price of furniture decrease. The price of wine has increased. This is all the more reason why we need to have palaces. go ahead here and finish getting statues here in place because like I said we need to control the growth of the um, the insula into um, um, into velas and subsequently palaces there we go <laughs> Still tongue-tied there for a sec. Alright, I'm going to quickly put up a large statue right here, so as that, um... And another one right there, so we can have uh, desirability in this area be of the utmost importance. Make sure I'm importing vines or grapes, whatever it is you want to call them. No, I love, love coming here. Business is doing it. Well. There we go. That felt good. Well, another benefit, let me quickly check gods here. They're indifferent, that's okay. All right, we also need to start to import wine too. <laughs> now, there we go, guys, there we go. Montgomerus Scottus, there we go, huzzah. All right, as you see, some of these guys, they have finally evolved. And, of course, we have lost a significant part of our population because of, um... Oh, there's White Cat. Hello there, White Cat. Of course, we have lost a significant part of our population due to uh, these guys evolving. So now what basically we need to do... Oh, jeez. Should be able to get our guys here to help us out. All right, so another thing we need to get have happen is. Um, We need to start expanding these guys up so that they, uh... Let me 
make sure I deselect the heroes as, uh, um, guys. So let's see. Okay, guys, I'm taking a look see here at the time. It is time for us to go ahead here and take our first break. So, yeah, let's go ahead and have, a, have everybody stand up and stretch. Go get something to eat. Go get something to drink. Use the restroom. We'll see you all here in a few minutes.
I just realized I've been speaking and I still had my mic muted and I thought I had unmuted it. I apologize, guys. So I hope you've been standing the stretch and, and all that jazz. So, um, yeah. I, for one, have been needing some stretching. So I apologize. Having the game up. And, uh, no narration. Department of Dub. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, anywho, let me go ahead here quickly. Let's, uh, I went and refilled my one liter water bottle. So, everybody go ahead and get a drink of water. Uh. See, we are still having a disaster of, um, lack of population. Let's see here. That should uh, help these guys here out. I'm going to go ahead and put up some temples. Small temples right here. Sorry, guys. One of my roots is really, really itchy right now, you know? Let's see, get rid of that. Let's go ahead and uh, put up an engineer's foot. Come on, dude. Get out of the way. Put up a theater. As well. And a replacement market. D for damage. Idiot infrastructure! Put up an engineer's post right here. Wait, duh. Roadblock that. Road, get out of the way, who's ever in the. What I can do is a little trick like that with the roadblocks. Ow. Pothole. Er, just a guys again.
I do apologize, guys. My, like I said, just one of my roots is just so bloody itchy. I, there, this is one of those times where the roots I have, I wish they were uh, better, you know. I mean, I do what I can to take care of them, but it's a case of, you know, when your root is so freaking itchy that you, that all you want to do is just scratch and scratch to make it better. It's just, ow, ow, ow. Why does this have to hurt so much? Ow, ow, ow. Now you see, we're starting to make some money. And that is, of course, in part due to the taxes we receive. As you know, just as uh, in modern times, uh, the wealthier you are, were, the more you would have to pay in taxes. So, oh, jeez. Let me do that before I forget. And we'll go ahead here and get these barbarians uh, taken care of, shall we? Again, I apologize for needing to do that, but, um, you know, it's one of these things where, you know, all we want to do is scratch, scratch, scratch. Because that's got me thinking about the, um, the, um, Lord of the Rings documentary uh, that they did with, uh, John Reese davies Um, you know, they described his, uh, his suffering um, with his mask because with his facial appliances and um, how for him uh, especially at times it seemed that uh, he um, just seemed fated to uh, have to endure um, he, had, he had some it was something in the um, in the in what made it up is that um was detrimental to him and um let's see here oh, that's why they need academy too department of duh now let's go ahead and set up some academies There we go. 
Well, I figured you would probably need some more desirability. See, these guys here, uh, here often on the corners, they need a uh, special what's it. All right, we need to go ahead. Let's set up ourselves. Oh, geez. Make sure we set up an engineer's post right there by the uh, that uh, Coliseum. But we also need to set up ourselves a hippodrome. Also need to pry that guy loose. So. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll make up uh, chariot makers. Uh, we'll chuck that guy right down there to give ourselves some more room. Let's go ahead and order up a stockpile. I've always loved that cinematic. All right. Let's see, except none, empty granary. So I want to make double sure on something. Let's see, wheat, 28, veggies, 11, and meat. Uh, we're going to bring online a few more. Wheat and veggie farms. There we go. Oh, wait, we need four. That's right. Department of Dub. All right, Dub. Uh, oh, my goodness. Holy freaking hedge apples. Um, you guys need to surrender. Even you guys need to surrender. Uh, my freaking goodness. We are so lacking population. Oh my goodness. Um, um, I'm starting to feel panicky, you know? Oh uh, boy. All right. Let's, uh. We just need, we need people. We need metric buttons of people. All right, let's see here. Um, what we can do is uh, undolt. Use this area here to our strategic advantage. See here. Let's clear out all the unnecessary parts of the woodlands. to this here area to uh, essentially form sort of a permanent um, what's it area? Uh, defensive area. There we go. And what we need now is just metric buttons of people. So let's see here. My goodness. <laughs> I had forgotten how much of um, how much effort it took to uh, even in this game to uh, get um, 
Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's do four. All right. Yeah, I know we're eating more food than we are producing. thing of it is when you need people to live in your city you know what I'm gonna redo this Do it like that, so we have a... Uh, should be right about there, I think. Reservoir. All right, one over. One over. Like I said, we, we just need metric butt-tons of people. The only way we're going to be able to possibly run our city, or even begin to run our city. Now to have asked those two iron plots to go bye-bye. There we go. Same with these plots. And we're going to have to move the guy over. That's okay. All right. It's one of these little, you know, minor things we can easily fix right now. Because right now we... As I, as I said, we just need buttons of people. Put that there. And then cease the stockpile. Release the stuff there. Prioritize these guys. City would be a lot better yeah what do you think we're trying to do here dude literally are going to to bring in people just tons and tons of people I'm gonna make a slight adjustment here for their in power our population our city's overall population we're further adding more capability. Give us people! Oh. 
All right, let's go ahead and let this uh, one palace right here grow. This city needs a lot more workers. And there we go, we have our first max out palace, which can have up to 200 people and is going to help us generate lots and lots of money. So let's go ahead here. Let these two guys, let these two combine into their own little thing. Now, this will help the city out in several ways. Because, for example, instead of having um, two two-by-twos, they essentially are get we are essentially getting an, uh, one four-by-four, four, which overall has less resource demand. Uh, Job. I've heard there is the governor. Cle the, the, the governor clearly doesn't care about me, so I'm gonna show him how I care about his city. Well, you, sir, are uninformed. So anyway, back up to uh, what we we're dealing with over here. Um, with these guys, we are essentially getting, um. I think I'm going to do a slight adjustment here. Make a hospital right here. Move a block, put a road in there, engineer's post. And then a large statue. That'll help boost up the desirability. There we go. Huzzah. Um, but anyway. Basically, having the one four by four, basically, um, has a lot less resource demands on the city overall. Meaning, especially for, like, food, um, food, pottery, furniture as well as oil and wine which will allow us to further uh, spread those resources out so essentially what's going on is by having these resources at our command to where the Let's see here. We're going to bump up our wages. See if we can't get some of these guys here to uh, cooperate. Saying, hey, we're all friends here. See if we can't get these guys to... Just a second, guys. BRB. Apologize for that, guys. So, anywho, hopefully, with um, 
the reduced demands on our food systems over here, we can um, start to further improve our city. Now we may need to further um, do stuff to distribute, have goods distributed. So, but first things first. Now, guess what? We are going to do some arranging here. Let's move that academy. We're going to move the academy. Come on. That way we can get some uh, large statues over here. Remove the, um, what's it over here? Engineer's post. Yeah, well, you'll soon be able to do that. There we go. That guy's up. So yeah, these guys will soon be able to help reduce the overall demand for resources by essentially consuming less of them. All right, I think we are going to need to do some stuff here. So um, we're going to build on the on the side here to actually for the moment I think we'll, we'll nix those guys get those guys blocked off let's access there Essentially try to boost access. As demand is falling. So we can't get uh, a little more desirability in there. There we go. Some desirability there. I said it's all about carefully managing what you got. Let's see here. Buy that. This is what I like to see. Let's see it as much. All right, let's see. Yeah. Holy freaking hedge apples. All right. How are we doing on it? Well, we're at least partial strength on, um, uh, Um, um, industry. Let's go ahead here. Plaza, plaza this up. Roadblock it right there. Granary, put in a granary right here. Not accepting, getting, getting. How are we doing on? How are we doing on culture? Now uh, we still need some uh, small temples. So Let's, if we spread them out like that, that'll help ensure um, stuff is stuck. All right. 
There we go. We're getting more people in. Huzzah. All right. Let's go ahead. We need to start taxing these guys. So let's set up some forums. Said. All right. January. I want to see how much money we're going to be making this year. Holy freaking hedge apples. We could literally cover all of our weight. If, in theory, we could cover all of our wages um, uh, with tax denarii if, with what we got in terms of taxes so far this year. So, I like that. Idiot infrastructure! go ahead here and uh, get rid of the, some of these granaries. Let's go ahead and uh, bump up that. and put in a pair of these guys over here to help out with that. No more crime. Still tremendously short workers. We need access to a bathhouse. Let's go ahead and give them that. As well as an amphitheater. All right. Do 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 do. Ha! There we go. That should be. They should be more now. Be more in line with that. Guess what? We got the enemy outmatched. We need uh, some redeployment on our troops. Uh, yeah. There we go. Send everybody home. Oh, you good. Yep.
Look at that, guys. This is something I love seeing. Is many, many digits worth of uh, stuff. So, um... I've seen this. At least we're getting some food out over here, which is a good thing. Let's see how we're doing on our taxes. We're at a hundred percent. Look at that. We were able to make more money. We did good last year, financially speaking. We did quite good. That's right, we need to take one of these guys back. There was 20 farms there. And we actually need to take these two guys out. Then we need to do a roadblock exception right in here. So let me put up some engineering posts. some road management here with these guys. Let's go ahead and decommission the military for the moment. Minor casualties. See, that's seven? Yeah, seven. I've never seen. Kind of forgot about that. Let's see, let's get an engineer's post up running up. Hello? Yeah, well, we're doing what we can, dudes. Although, with this increase in food... This increase in food production, we can, of course, have uh, more food for our entire city. Huzzah! Now 
have to do uh, a smarter thing, I think. Uh, smarter connection, shall we say. Oh, don't want to do that. Department of Duh. <laughs> I'll have a more direct route to the, uh, to stuff, which will help out, help our food situation out. Better, smarter planning, eh? Let's go and empty that granary. There we go. We're starting to get more food into this guy. That's a good thing. So let's set up a few more markets. Yes, I know I need more workers. The thing of it is, these guys will help bring in more workers. That will further help further furnish the city's economic needs. All right, let's do a little bit of further road fixing right here. I want to get rid of that. There we go. That's what I wanted. <coughs> Special orders. Should we get wheat? <sighs> what the what? Idiot infrastructure, I forgot to do that. Oh, that would be why. Duh. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> we got uh, too much going on all at once. It's one of those uh, everything's happening at once sort of things. We're going to need one more veggie farm, so let's go ahead and fix that while I'm thinking about it. All right, super slow mode. There we go. Dum dum. Ah, what the heck 
Who's that? There we go. <clears throat> See stockpiling. See getting goods. Don't accept. Start emptying warehouse. I'm amazed by how many I'm amazed by how many jobs need to be filled here. Yeah. say this is part of the problem is that our industry and commerce is suffering because we don't have enough freaking people all right let's go ahead and get these guys over here some entertainment <clears throat> let's bring a few theaters So will help bring in some more people, which will help further empower our commerce and industry. How we're doing now? Well, that's we're getting there. We're just a little over halfway on that. Let's take another look. Yep. Uh, oh. I need to stretch. Ugh. Now, this is one of those times where I feel that if I, let's smarten things up a little bit. If we do this, it might help, uh, The overall situation a bit, eh? It's, it's easy at times to forget to try and have a um, food not set right. And um, trying to have more food is always a good thing. I'm going to make a granary right here. Don't accept meat. Go ahead and get those guys. have it not accept but we'll have it chuck uh, food elsewhere yeah 
Great, we got enemies at the door. Well, it seems we're doing somewhat better on our food distribution. Somewhat. This is where having um, multiple granaries to get food. Yay, we got 10k people! Alright, we're going to take out these guys. Put in a road there. Put in it. Map around so I can freaking see. Excuse me, but I feel good. Let me go and do this. Roadbox. And let's move this granary. Actually, let's move this granary that's right here in this corner. We'll move him right here. Purpose, of course, being twofold. He can serve as the necessary deposit point. And at the same time, into granary, not, not, not. Yep. Holy hedge apples. Uh, panic! Panic, of course, is the one that uh, we don't have uh, any. Hardly any defense on. Let's get our cavalry going like right now. They can quickly intercept uh, the enemy forces. We're going to have to endure some casualties, guys. to put up with some uh, loss especially amongst our military especially if it brings about victory Stockpile. He, the Emperor always seems to want to Alright, no 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 Was definitely a bunch of casualties. We need to get our at least a wall up here. Makes me think of uh, about this documentary I seen about, saw. I've seen about a uh, Boudica, Warrior Queen Boudica. Of the Iceni tribe, 
whom the Romans faced uh, in, uh, in the mid first century CE. How um, she and her various allies, of horses, whatever you'd want to call them, were able to, uh, at least for a time, were able to punch the Romans back in a way. Idiot infrastructure who wasn't being maintained. Um, engineer's post. And then this guy gets to go bye-bye because he is no longer needed. Now look at that. We're getting some of our granaries to fill up. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Put up, let's see, let's put up two, four more pig farms, and then we'll put up some more wheat. We need all the guys we can. Now, if it were up to me, and this has always been my biggest complaint with this particular scenario, is if we could have just a little bit more farmland, especially with the way I do things in this game. Because it does take a lot of, um, a lot of stuff to be able to get stuff going. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's just so interesting to see how much food I can produce. Look at that. Population is huge. And this momentarily slow things down just a little so we can get uh, another granary up here and running. Put up an engineer's post right there. Roadblock here. Oh, come on. Out of the way, folks. Out of the way. Don't accept. Get and get. To further distribute PO. There we go. We're starting to get it. Huzzah. Oops, some more samples. We probably need them um, to honor the gods, anywho. All right, we're getting close to 100 gig, guys. Oh, oh, geez, Louise, I just remembered. Barracks, we need barracks. Let's go ahead and prioritize some um, troop production. Excuse me. Just wondering. We've got a metric butt ton of cash. 
Metric button cash. Metric button cash. Metric button cash. Please talk. Oh my god, look at that. Look at this, guys. We are above 10,000, uh, not 10, 100,000 denarii. So you see, you know, it was, like I said, it was here in this game that I pi essentially, excuse me, pioneered the, um, the, um, what's it? The, uh, the high income via taxation. Now, you see, if I bump this up to, say, 10%, that yields up a little bit more. So let's go ahead here to help keep things sort of even. We'll bump up our uh, wages so that, you know, people can do their stuff. But at the same time, by having that higher tax rate, we can essentially make more money off our palaces right here. And that's what we want, or a thing we want, is we want mucho dinero from the palaces. Now, oh, displeased, eh? Now, let's see if we can get uh, the gods to be a little happier, and we can get rid of this guy. Boom. Put up some more temples to help make sure that they are not quite as displeased. Don't want that. All right. Oh, wait. We're not quite full strength yet. I thought we were hopefully full strength, but I guess not. I guess not. Hello, seeing. All right, so let's see here. Um, Plaza. Increase these guys' desirability. Let's go ahead here. We're going to go ahead and ramp up our. What's it here? So let's see. I need. Gatehouse. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, break of one, one, two, four, five. Let's go ahead here and insert some very expensive walls. Okay. Fortunately, we have more than enough capital now to be able to pay for them. We also need to go about installing over on the other side, too. We're not going to worry about towering these guys up right away. Mostly because the, uh, it's not worth it. Wait a minute. We need to make this one alter this slight one slightly. I just remembered how some of the access for this, so. Let's see, how, how much are we skip? How is it still? Holy hedge apples! I like seeing that sort of figure. Yeah, this has always been a fun way for me to do the walls, is do it like this. Essentially, layer by layer in a giant cycle. Yep. 
are still making more than enough money. One, two, three, four, and five. That should be, uh, this will probably be it for on this main part of the wall for now. Uh, kind of dumb, dumb drive there. That's okay. How we're doing on our troops? Almost there. Almost there. We'll soon be able to have at our command. Up, oh, come on. The uh, necessary uh, stuff. Like I said, we're making money hand over fist. I at least wanted to show you guys the uh, sort of layering I like to do. So, um, let's see here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, jeez. They're offset. Oh well. Now to the end of the world. We were always going to have to have a little bit of an offset for this area. Because uh, the way things are. We're going to go ahead and set this all up. Go ahead here and we'll set up the uh, gatehouses. Uh, I don't mind a little bit of an offset. Just so long as we still have the force to help defend us, so. Grant access to traders. Half of each. disengage that prior. Oh, look at that. We can finally get that going up again. All right, workshop. Let's go ahead and get some more pottery up and running. Cling clang. I cannot get the C3 music out of my head. There we go. Got that guy to evolve. Huzzah! Let's see if we can't make a little bit of a shortcut here. between these guys, so, uh, as that, um, 
make their trips just a tiny bit shorter, eh? Roadblock. Roadblock. There we go. Is that a little bit shorter route? Help them out. Needs a syrup. This place badly needs more workers. Look at those columns. 843 Debans so far this year. It is only October, but still, that is a butt ton of care. Show 1080. 1080! I love seeing that figure. That is Bling Supreme. 1200 uh, 14 something I think 1320 so that'll be 1440 I had to momentarily tabulate there in my brain place <laughs> look at that look at all that bling supreme Let's see if we can't get a little bit of desirability for these guys. <laughs> oh, they need bathhouses, baths. Let's get them uh, more entertainment. Put up a coliseum over here. Okay, this way they'll uh, provide their stuff. Oh my God! Look at all that money! Oh, look at that! Hundred and essentially hundred. Uh, there we go. I was starting to say essentially hundred and twenty-five k, but now it's hundred and twenty-five k. See, I love seeing big numbers like that. If only I could do that sort of thing IRL. I think I'm gonna go ahead. That engineer is walking weird. Um. Go ahead and put up a market in here. Try to see if we can't get uh, some additional desirability here. I mean, des desirability. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. We got this over on it's essentially its own road circuit. How many workers do we still need? Three hundred and nineteen. Oh! 
Oh, finally. This city needs workers. There are simply not <laughs> Bradley Spittus. Oh my god, I'd forgotten about that name. How they put Brad this city needs workers. I wonder if I could Let's see uh entertainment theater. I've never seen There are simply not enough workers in this city. Don't know who that is. There are simply not enough workers in this city. Don't know that one either. I'm off to collect more. There are simply not enough workers. Got Charlton is Carlotonus Hestonus. <laughs> oh my god. I think there's even a William Shatner one, I think. There are simply not enough workers. Jason Ro Jason Rovards. Anthony Hopkins, Burt Reynolds. I've heard there are jobs here. There are simply not Mel Gibson. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Not enough workers in this city. Don't know who that is. Oh, James Dean. James Dean. There are simply not enough workers in this city. Don't know who that is. There are simply Dustin not Hoffman. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Fat this, this, I'll tell you what. This city would be a fat. There are simply There's not Charles enough There's Charlton Heston again. <laughs> this there are simply not enough workers in this city. I think that's supposed to be Robin Williams, or probably. There There's Tom Hankus again. In this there are greetings. greetings. There are it's terrible. I've there are simply not enough Humphrey Bogart. There are simply not enough workers in this. There are simply not enough Just workers a second. In this city. So I don't drive everybody crazy. I'm gonna turn off speech. Anthony Hopkins again. Yeah, the Mel Gibson. Robert Rivera, or whatever, Robert Duvall, probably. Don't know who that is. It's Tom Hanks again. Another Tom Hanks. Al Pacino. Um, I gotta turn the sound back on, the speech back on, because I love the. Um, I love collecting packs from rich houses like these. I love, I love, I love collecting packs. I love collecting packs from rich houses like these. And I love that you love collecting packs from rich houses like those, because you. Uh, helping it contribute to the wealth of the city. I mean, look at that! We're up to almost like a forty thousand today. I mean, think about it. If you could walk around with a hundred, you know, let's just say a hundred and forty dollars, that would be worth having that sort of thing. All right, we really need. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point to where, um, you know, normally when I um, <clears throat> perform this, uh, the building of this particular city, you know, I don't have to worry about narrating. But it's a case of I'm starting to get to the point to where I was like, I so want to move on. 
I also want to move on. So move on, we shall. I mean, look at this. We've got 16k worth of money in um, stuff. Oh, enemy at the door. Oh, just a sec, guys. All right, so let's see here. We really need to, uh, since we're going to go ahead here and um, get our the city done, uh, we need to get the culture ready. So let's go ahead here and three. Let's go ahead here. We're going to start to uh, improve our city's culture. We have to do uh, several tricks here to do this. Have this sort of thing done. Uh, let's see here. Before I forget, let's go ahead and start to re import marble. Large temple, all. One, two, three, four, five. Go and put up an engineer's post right here. Yeah, this is. I knew this sort of thing would be coming up, but was I worrying about it? No, because we didn't need to worry about it. Yeah, I knew we would need theaters, too. But this is why, you know, you try to have some degree of planning. In this case, we can actually make use of the farmland areas. So long as we have the overall things. things needed to win the scenario. That's what we need. There are simply not enough workers in this city. Yeah, I know there aren't enough workers, dude. The thing of it is, can you win a scenario here? So. Don't, uh... No use in crying over spilled milk. Ah, there we go. There we go. Surely Caesar Augustus must have foreseen your coming when he predicted our absorption of the Gauls. Your successor to Tisha goes far toward crushing their rebellious spirit. All right, so we got two uh, scenarios now. We got Caesarea, somewhat peaceful, and Damascus, dangerous. So we're going to go and do that one. The Empire's western provinces are bustling since my consolidation program succeeded so well. Now I want to apply the same policies to our eastern borders. Damascus is a good place to start. Build a medium city there and absorb the natives already living in the province. Nameless nomadic raiders have long plagued the province and Egyptians have given us trouble over the years too, despite Alexandria's inclusion in the empire. The land there is not especially good for building or for farming. I am confident that you won't let that stop you. Your success will go far towards calming the east. All right, Damascus, population of 6K, prosperity and culture ratings of 55, favor rating of 40, and peace of 50. We can do that. We can very easily do that, so. All right, so yeah, we got some farming uh, territory right up here. 
We got a little bit more right over here with this native area. And it's a fairly, as you see, it is a fairly extensive native area. We also got a little bit of farmland up here. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and save. Let's see. Damascus. Oh. See here, let's go ahead and uh, give that city all that bling, all that bling, 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 bling. All right, so um, from what I can remember, this is down here is one of the attack points. There are several. Uh, there's one somewhere in one or two in this general vicinity, so that's going to be fun. I don't think there's one over here though. Let's go ahead and clear out stuff. But yeah, this is of course another desert province, so um, we are going to have a lot of uh, fires to worry about, or a decent number of fires about. Hero Shlima, that is to say, uh, Jerusalem. They sell wheat and wine. They buy olives and furniture. And Tarsus, they buy wine and olive oil. They sell clay, marble, and pottery. Let's go ahead and open up those trade routes. And we need to um, see here. Timber yard, iron mine. Probably go ahead here. Um, make this our timber and uh, iron area. It's part of our industrial area. As again, we will have a uh, stuff to worry about. All right, we're not going to try quite for as big uh, what's it in let's see uh, what's it area as we did last time, last scenario. Let's see, one, two, three, four. quite as big. We'll still try for a decent sized area, of course. That's just a uh, marker that out. We're gonna leave a one thing like that, so as that we can run a um, aqueduct through it. So one, two, three, four. We'll make mostly this area here, mostly our industrial area. Come on. There we go. 
There we go. Ooh, there we are. Gotta start. I have to be thinking of Mimer now. Gotta start it, tree, you silly, silly tree. I'm thinking that I'll probably, we'll have a defensive wall somewhere in this area. And, um, or probably I'll put in our forts in here, so. Go ahead here and we'll prune the road back of the, the square. Oh, darn it. I can't help but think of um, the C3 trailer now. Just a sec, guys. Let me go ahead and bring that up. Just a second here. Let me pull that up. So, just a second. Let me find that. I know it's here somewhere. Let's see again. C3. I think this should be it, so let me go ahead here. Yep, that's it, that's it. Whoa, that's loud. Let me turn down game audio here a little bit. Let's see here, let me make sure. Just a second here. I was pulling that up to make to test the audio settings here in just a second. Just a second. Central Italy, seven hundred fifty years before the birth of Christ. Starting on a path that would lead farther than they could ever have imagined, farmers settled at a place on the river Tiber. They called it Rome. They thrived, building legendary roads, encouraging trade with neighboring cities. Life was good, but Rome's citizens hungered for more and developed mighty legions to conquer new lands. captives became slaves bought by rich citizens who enjoyed Rome's unrivaled civilized life. But not every citizen lived in such luxury, leading to riots by the hungry and the poor. But Rome thrived, leaving as proof of its glory spectacular venues for the tough 
often dangerous entertainment its people demanded. I have always, always loved the, um, the end part of that cinematic there, so. Let's see, let me go ahead here and get things in order. Da -da 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 do 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 all right, so we got we've gotten a good start. So um, let's see here. Got some guys coming in. All right. Thing we gotta gotta do is of course. Uh, oh wait a sec. Oh, wait, the, the, the tree. Don't be a dum dum. Uh, 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 let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's going to have to be six of one, half a dozen of the other. Uh, prefectures. We needs them prefectures. Some doctors and barbers. Let's put up a roadblock right here. Uh, oh, excuse me, but I felt good. All right. All right. Uh, uh, water services is a big priority, followed by that. We'll actually make it the third priority. There we go. All right, so now what we can do is we can move the, uh, oh, that guy actually works out quite perfectly right there. Huzzah! And in, and in law of unknown consequences. Huzzah, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. So let's go ahead here. We are going to go ahead here. Oh, my goodness. We have got vegetables, fruit, pigs, olives, and vines. So let's see. I forget. What can we sell? They, uh, Tarsus buys olive oil and um, wine. That's good. And then... Aerosolomia, uh, they buy um, um, olives, and so we can we can make a pretty penny. We can definitely make a pretty penny, pretty penny.
Pretty penny, pretty penny. We'll make this area here the focus of our food production, at least as a start. Make sure I get uh, large statues here so I don't go building stuff where I don't need to. Ah, jeez. Yeah, well, at least I can do stuff like this. It's always been a thing for me in this in these uh, city building games is that I don't like rushing. I've never liked rushing building games quickly in this in these games. I much prefer you know just being uh, being more leisurely, if you will. That way I uh, can make sure that, you know, I, I get what I want. And yes, it's a virtual city, yes, but I would rather have a good virtual city than one that is, you know, like Carthago, you know, where the city is, you know, under attack by the native tribes that reside in the province. They are... Um... <laughs> You know, things are falling apart, catching fire, getting destroyed, whatever. I just I just want to take my time, make the best possible city I can, and go from there. So put up a second granary right there. And then this is one thing I love about in uh, in having in the Augustus mod is um, having the uh, ability to um, um, do uh, do fun stuff. So let's see here. that it's, it's always a challenge in this uh, game as I said to do our stuff so let's see four five. Game. There we go. How are the gods doing? They ain't too happy, that's a fact. So let's get out of the way, silly immigrant. There we go.
Huzzah, 500 citizens. All right, let's go ahead here to, uh, we will, Focus our efforts into f fewer farms. Let's actually turn meat back on and fruit back. Actually, we'll leave vegetables and fruit off. Since that'll mean meat will help us out get a, a good start on food. Let's go ahead and get several markets up and running. How are the gods doing there? They're feeling better. Huzzah. Unemployment is very high. I'm thinking of leaving. Now we can now turn fruit back on. That will I may shortchange us, but idiot infrastructure. How ironic is it that one of the prefectures burnt down? Irony! Never a distant battle. Distant battle. Alright, well, uh, we'll worry about that here in a sec. Okie dokie, there we go. For now. All right, I'm taking a look-see here at the time, guys. It's time for us to go ahead and take our break, our second break. So, yeah, go and stand up, stretch, go get something to eat, go get something to drink, use the restroom, and I'll see you all here in a few minutes.
Okay guys, I am back, so uh, we're going to go ahead, let's delve right back into the action. Alright, <clears throat> hey, excuse me, go ahead and turn the game stuff on. You know, I, I suddenly find myself thinking about, um, whoa, excuse me, um, I'm not going to play it. Um, let me go ahead and pull it up here. I'll put the game in action on slow mode. Um, oh, what the, what the heck's happening now? Let's go ahead and put up a fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few prefectures up here. It can be, as I said, it can be easy at times to forget. Um, uh, how spontaneously combustible uh, some parts of the city can be. Yeah, it's it's one of these things where I um, severely dislike um, having to worry about that sort of thing. Let me see here. Um, typewriter tree. Let's see here. Here it is. Uh, star size comparison two to um, but who is by uh, Morn fourteen fifteen. There's the link to it, and um, basically, you know, it depicts uh, you know sort of a scale of the universe sort of thing. All right, so oh look at that, we got some unemployment now. Huzzah! I don't mind pushing a car. I don't mind pushing it. I don't mind pushing a car. It's more entertaining than the rest of this city. Yes, we're gonna have to figure out something to do how to do that, but we can worry about that later. I'm new to this place. Do you know of anywhere to live? Perhaps. All right. We need to get up some uh, military defenses. So. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, Fort Jeez. Hmm. Thinking maybe if we actually give my if I give myself some extra room. I can make uh, my troops uh, give myself give my troops since we got uh, ten instead of six. Give myself that little bit of extra room for future uh, city expansion.
I don't mind pushing a cart. It's much more, a lot more. I cannot get that uh, video out of my head, guys. Nothing but weapons. Boy, is needed. Well, I'm not going to complain too, too much. Make sure we get the rest of these guys. No sign of crime around here. <sighs> the market is out of food, so I'm on my way home. The market is out of food, so I'm on my way home. And let these guys continue to evolve. After a hard day's work, all I want the criminals I lock up have better entertainment than this city. That's cool. The uh, the right click really moves us moves the map around, huh? Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Go ahead here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. Four, five. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Rats. It's rats. I just can't get that uh, vid out of my mind now, guys. I forget what the name of the music was that the guy used, for, that Morn used for it. I know it's, it's, it's some good music, I'll grant you that. I forget. Some good music. Let's see, except uh, furniture, except weapons. Save furniture. Let's turn this so we see where my guys are. So I can figure on where I need to put up a uh, Roadblock and some additional prefectures. 
like I said, in, in some ways, I both like yet dislike the challenge of, um, of, um, desert provinces because it just, um, having to worry about the, um, um, additional necessity of, of, um, stuff. Seriously, you guys don't have temple access? I'll just set up a few more temples just to satisfy my OCD. Oh, this is desirability. Well, we probably need the god access, anywho. Let me get rid of these here, zebra. thing we need to do is uh, I want to subdue the natives here so as that um, so we've got as you see this is a fairly large tribal area in proportion to the map so this is going to require aside for more money <laughs> uh, it's going to require a plaque I'll improve the interconnected nature of the um of the natives here. So yeah, this is going to require quite a few um, mission posts. Simply because, as you see, you know, it's, uh, it's as I've said, it's, it's a fairly large native settlement, as you can see. We got, you know, this guy to this guy down to these guys, so. Um, see how we're doing on unemployment. Let's go ahead here and, uh. do all this i don't anticipate we'll probably we probably won't get done with this scenario tonight so There's no space for this lot anywhere in the city. Let's go ahead and turn off iron and turn on veggies. 
Come on. There we go. Check it. Entertainment needs a priority. so many buildings needing more workers all right let's go ahead here start to set up some mission posts basically we'll kind of set them up uh, so we got try to get at least some mutual advantage coverage so uh, risks Native. This guy obviously doesn't want to go that way, so we will reposition him. Teaching these barbarians the merits of Rome's benevolence. Greetings. My, I'm so glad, glad to be Roman. Roman. You should see what these barbarians get up to in their huts. Long be Idiot infrastructure. How is it that you guys can't seem to want to go this way? Idiots. Alright, let's go ahead here. We're gonna momentarily uh, shut down our timber and furniture industries. <coughs> Excuse me, but it felt good. And um, let's go ahead here, set up a warehouse. Uh, Special orders, except nothing like that. Don't get furniture. I want you to get pottery. Until we get um, some sufficient worker count, I think we're going to have to do it all. We're going to have to import. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get up, uh, yeah, want you, except clay, let's go ahead and set an import on clay. So as that we can have the awesome sauce stuff come on in. A good day to you. A good day. A good day to you. Can I interest you in some top quality? Great. With enemies at the door, who needs friends? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. I just had to say a bad, bad pun. Uh, whew, excuse me. Well, that's goody, goody gumdrops. Yeah, the, the prefecture. An archie post. Um, pigs. Engage. 
change it on. CSN quartz. There we go. Don't want furniture. I wanted weapons. Tree, you're being a dum dum. Six. Cling, clang, cling. Yay, 2K people. Huzzah. All right, let's make sure we set a uh, weapons to stockpile so that um, we got stuff going on. Way it needs to be going. Let's go and shut down our veg veggies again. There we go. We got a little bit of unemployment. Cease the stockpile. Oh, we're going to put a roadblock right there. Department of Duh. This city is terribly short of workers. Yeah. This surprised me that they have Egyptian names, of course. Pharmacies has chips it. I always love the description for the uh, simple crops right here. Simple crops. Saffron crops are the locals' main source of food, but Romans would find them inedible. There's a real shortage. Greetings. There's a real shortage of workers here. There we go. Did 
Did I remove the stock file? Yes, I did. Let's go and shut down iron. Come on, there we go. See, aren't I exporting furniture? If I'm not, I should be. Clang, clang. Idiot infrastructure. Put up a prefecture. That. Let's go ahead and get these guys sent home. Oh. Natives are, of course, a trading. Dust is good. Dust is very good. And look at that. There goes the trader cart. Blackbeard. In this case, like I said, have, having the natives can be a financial benefit. And feeling kind of tired, guys, so I think we'll go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and end up a little, end a little early. I do apologize for that. But it's a case of, um, I've been, uh, um, da -da -da -da. last couple of days have been real tiresome at work. I slept like 13 hours today, you know, from, uh, uh it was like 1 a.m. Saturday to like 2 or 3 or something like that. I, I, I slept quite a bit. I slept quite a bit. So let's see here. Um... Let's go say hi here. I think I see somebody we could go say hi here to that I uh, haven't said hi to in a while. Yep. Okay, okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Friend is live, so let's go ahead and say hi. Make sure I type this out right. It's one of these uh, I can easily uh, mistype it. We're going to be raiding Magoo. So go ahead and select the tree grove has arrived to bring you shade and water. That is our standard raid call. Please wait for me to post first. Want a nice strong raid behind me. So yeah, go ahead and um, hope to see you guys. Uh, if you're uh, watching here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Jose George, please remember to go ahead and hit that follow button. If you're watching over on the YouTubes, go ahead and... Um, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on the twits over at twitter.com slash josejorns1. I hope to see you guys tomorrow uh, for some more uh, of uh, Titan Quest the Loot Grind uh, on Monday and Thursday. We're going to be picking up uh, Let's Play Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. And of course, next Saturday is going to be another episode of City Building Saturday. So let's go ahead here. Let's get to this raid party started. As appreciates everybody who has come out. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.